Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 12, lesson 1 metric units of length. Page number is 775. Okay, guys, in this lesson, we will talk about length. Length means the first thing metric units. The metric units are the American units of length. Uh, there are customary units in which we have feet and inches, okay, and there are metric units uh, in which we have uh, meters and kilometers and centimeters and millimeters like that, okay, there is decimeter also. Now, metric units of length, length means that how much something is long, how long, Length is the measurement of a line between two points. Millimeter, centimeter, meter, and kilometer are units that are part of metric system of measure for length. So if you want to know that, for example, how long something is, so you use that, what is its length? You use this word length, okay. The first unit is millimeter, the smallest one. Its short form is mm, millimeter. It is very small, like six sheets of notebook paper. Not in this way, guys. The thickness, the thickness of uh, six sheets. If you join them together, it's very small, very tiny. Okay. If you join 10 millimeters together, like 60 sheets instead of six sheets, it will become one centimeter. One centimeter is like a ladybug. Okay, it's not exactly like a ladybug. If you take an estimation, like a ladybug. And the short form for centimeter is cm. Now, if you join 100 centimeters together, you will get one meter. The short form is m. It is about the height of a chair. Okay, and when you join 1,000 meters together, you will get one kilometer. It is about six city blocks, or you can say that we use it for to measure the distances. For example, the distance from school to your house, from school to hospital, from hospital to the library, like that, the distance. Okay, so we use kilometers. It's a big unit. Okay. So guys, again here, you have to memorize these three lines, that one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. Like when you multiply 10, you'll get centimeter. Multiply 100, you get meter. Multiply 1000, you get kilometer. So one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So if you want to convert from centimeters to millimeter, you multiply by 10. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So to convert from meters to centimeters, you multiply by 100. And one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. So to convert from kilometers to meters, we multiply by 1000. Similarly, guys, these are bigger units and these are smaller units. From bigger to smaller, we multiply. If you are converting in opposite way, from smaller to bigger, we divide. Like from meter to kilometer, you will divide by the same number, 1000. From centimeter to meter, you will divide 100. And from millimeter to centimeter, you will divide by 10. Okay. Now, they measure the carrot, put the ruler, guys. On the first line, they put the zero, zero on the first line, okay and then check where is the second line. The second line is at 12. This is a centimeter ruler. So the length of the carrot is 12 centimeters. Now if we want to know that how many millimeters, so 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So 12 centimeters, 12 times 10, 120 millimeters. Okay, next one now here. Uh, this one, the best estimate from these is 50 centimeter. Okay, its height could be one meter, but its uh, length will be 50 centimeter. If you want to convert it into millimeters, you multiply 50 by 10, it will be 500 millimeters. 
and 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So 50 centimeters, half of it, 100, half of 100 is 50, so half meter. So it is almost half meter. Okay, this one now, guys. Estimate, you will put your ruler here, the centimeter side, guys, not the inches side, okay? You will put the zero on this side and you will check on the other side that what is the number here on the ruler. So it is 3 centimeters. To convert it into millimeters, 3 times 10, 30 millimeters. Uh, here they want you to estimate the length of this cake and it's 2 meters. Okay, because it cannot be 6 centimeters, it will be very small, 6 meters, it will be very big and 2 kilometers, oh my god, it's really huge. So the best estimate is 2 meters, we convert it into centimeters, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So 2 meters, 200 centimeters, 2 times 100. Similarly guys, here, independent practice, you will solve all these questions by yourself and then match your answers through this video. They didn't ask to convert it into millimeters, but uh, I want you guys to convert it into millimeters also for your practice. Okay. Uh, here, like estimate, you cannot measure. The best estimate for corn stalk, how long? It's around 2 centimeters, 2 meters, because uh, no other option is suitable. Here, 5 meters? No, it's not possible. Runway is big, almost 5 kilometers. Okay, let's move to the next page and a giraffe at the zoo is 5 meters tall. Name something else that is about 5 meters tall. Tree is the distance from Boston, just to Phoenix, Arizona about 4,000 centimeters or 4,000 kilometers. Of course, the distance between two countries is 4,000 kilometers, not centimeters. Okay, why would it be better to measure the length of your classroom with a meter stick instead of centimeter ruler? Because meter stick is longer and the length of classroom is longer. The centimeter will take too much time. So the best tool to use is meter stick. And uh, the last question here, is it reasonable to use centimeter to measure the length of an object? Centimeters should be used to measure small objects, but not large objects, because centimeter is a small unit. Okay, when you want to use uh, measure the length of a big object, so we will use the meter and kilometer. I hope you guys understand the lesson. If you really understand, guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, for another video lesson. Uh, and listen guys here I need the answer of this question from you guys in the comment box find three things in the classroom that are longer if you're sitting in your room okay uh, you can give me example from your room that are longer than 10 centimeters and smaller than 100 centimeters okay so you can estimate the length of each item I need this one from you guys in the comment box. Thank you so much guys. Have a nice day.